newbie reporting for duty with the OG cast off 74U. I know a lot of you like it or liked it in Modern Warfare 2. I've seen it a few times in Modern Warfare 3. Once I got it to mastery though in Modern Warfare 2, I never touched it again. So let's have a look at it and see how it's going to work in Modern Warfare 3. First of all, the configuration. Start with a Mark III reflector. It gives me a sight. The F-Talk Elite Stock. That helps a little bit with the gun kick, which is not really bad on this weapon. And the hip fire and tack stance. Minor hurts the ADS speed, the crash movement speed I don't worry about, but it does hurt that a bit. It puts it below two milliseconds or two meters per second. The demo X2 grip, again, recoil with no downsides. 45 round mag, I gotta have it. I'm going into free for all. I need the extra ammunition. You can see a lot of red there, but don't be intimidated. 242 milliseconds on the ADS is not lightning fast, but it's okay. It's competitive and the rest of the speeds are barely impacted. The XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. That helps with the ADS speed, makes up for some of what I lost. And the sprint to fire speed at 200 milliseconds is great. Also, the mobility is, is helped at the cost a little bit of hip fire spread and tack stance spread. Hip fire, though, if they get that close, Grandpa's going to gack them. So let's take this thing on to the field of honor and see how it does. Before we jump in, let's take a look at the numbers. As far as fire rate, it's a bit slower than the vanilla MCW and the cast off is configured. The headshot damage, though, significantly better. Whatever's in yellow and green is significantly better for the cast off. What's in yellow and red is significantly bad. And you can see that the damage per second, which I don't usually show, is significantly better for the cast off 74U. So right away, we should think that would uh, re reflect in the times to kill. See where we're going. Looks like to Rio, maybe. For as far as ranges, very short range for an assault rifle, 8.9 meters, but the minimum damage range except extends to 47 meters, so that's okay. If you look at the time to kill, though, compared to the MCW at the effective damage range, the cast off 74U wins every time. So I could give up a little bit of damage range. That's a lot to give up. But anyway, let's see how it goes. And I don't see anybody. I still don't see anybody. Is there anybody else playing? There we go. There is a customer. All right, now, as far as recoil perform and performance, the gun kick and the horizontal vertical recoil the hip fire very, very close to the MCW, which is a very accurate weapon. But the aim down sight speed is significantly better for the cast off 74U, as is the sprint to fire speed. So I should be able to leverage that in free for all. In fact, based on that alone, I would probably carry the cast off 74 free for, into free for all before I would the MCW, unless I've really got it gussied up nicely all right let's change mags and see if we can get back into this very beginning we're already down fairly significantly there's a headshot that's where the cast off is powerful if anybody's already damaged it the higher you hit the quicker you kill i'm just going to go back on the corner and wait for this guy to look for me I'm in fifth place it's not a place for grandpa Second place he thinks is bad, and I'm talking about myself in the third person. I think I'm royalty or something. I'm just a newbie playing COD. All right, we're down by seven. Almost uh, double numbers. That guy I think's hiding behind the glass. And we got him. The other guy, though, we better watch out. There he is still. Switch to the Renetti. Maybe I can give him a few love taps. Tell him I love him with a Renetti bullet. And he's disappeared. He's pulled the Houdini on me, and there, the guy that was shooting me in the back stepped on the proximity mine. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. So we're still down by six, now eight kills, and there was a 
VTOL, an enemy fighter pilot. We call them bandits. If you don't know what the aircraft is on unidentified, we call them bogeys. There's a bogey, 12 o'clock, 26 miles. If they're confirmed enemy, they're bandits. So I can see that the cast off, yeah, the sprint to fire speed has helped me out just a little bit here. There's an enemy. And the ADS isn't horrible. It Once you get inside the minimum damage range, it is absolutely a gacking beast. We've managed to come up to within four and in third place, which is the second loser. There we go. See, the ADS movement speed isn't unworkable. And I don't know where that gat came from, but I bought the farm that time in a fiery way. When Pierre goes down, Pierre goes down in flames. It's like in the Air Force song, we live in fame or go down in flames. And miracle, miracles, we've tied it up. Plus we got a mosquito drone and I can stay inside to keep that thing from gacking me. And we take the lead, kind of, just for a second. Nice little jumper out, surprise the guy. Running out of time, less than a minute. I never got that guy you saw running up the stairs. There's one, and there's two from, I think the mosquito got somebody. So we're up by two towards the end of the game. We need two more kills to make it a Snickers win. Of course, we may not win at all. And we win. Not 30 kills, though, so it's not a Snickers win. Now, I thought that the cast-off performed okay. I wasn't overly impressed. I know some people love this weapon. So I decided just to take it into a just a old-fashioned team death match and see if it can do its thing. Of course, a bad artist always blames the paintbrushes. It's not their fault. But I just really wasn't feeling it yet with the cast off there. I killed a wolfman. Gack the wolfman. There he is again. Oh, we got a turret. Where, where is it? Where is it? So if the enemy is distracted like in team deathmatch a little bit by a decent team or teammates, then oh, I don't have I'm low ammo, folks. Got to go to the Renetti. The only way to reload now is to buy the farm, which I did. OK, let's see if I can stop from getting gacked while I put this thing out. We got the shirtless wonder there. I have to admit that I enjoyed the seven. Ooh, there's rubber man, a racer head jumping up and down. I enjoyed it more in team deathmatch than I did in free for all. That's because there's more going on. People can't concentrate as much on you. I think there's somebody, somebody we haven't seen Elvis yet. I don't think I've killed the king. Oh, Wolfman, man. I don't know what kind of weapon he was using, but it was effective. A racer man got me. A racer head. There he is with a friend. Now, that time the cast off performed well, and that was well outside the 8.9 meters, but I was hitting him high, which is the sweet spot for this weapon, and it just erased him. It melted him, as did Wolfman melt there. There's a racer man again. He bounces like a super ball. So my overall feelings on this gun, I probably will not pull it out again. I think there, for me, there are better options, though I know a lot of you like this weapon. Please like and sub subscribe. Cheers and peace.